How dirty is this oil? That is thick, it is black, it is disgusting, and it smells. What's up everyone? This is Thomas Donahue from The Driver's Apex, and if you drive cars hard like I do, you have got to stay on top of your oil changes. And in this video, we're gonna do an oil change, but before we do that oil change, we're gonna use some Liquid Molly Engine Flush. Let's see if it works. Molly engine flush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the whole thing in here. The engine's already warm, as you can see. Woo wee! All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put this in here, and then we're gonna let it idle, just like we did with the M3. And it's gonna idle for about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I'm gonna let it cool down just shortly, and then after that, we're gonna drain this oil. So stuff like that but all the seals have been replaced in this car it's not like they're 30 year old seals or anything they're a couple years old so not too worried about that so let's go ahead and get this car started again liquid molly engine flush let's see how this works like i said it shouldn't be too hot but sitting so all the garbage should now be sitting at the bottom of the oil pan. Yeah, that's that's dark. Yeah, look at that. Yuck. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the oil continue draining, maybe another 10, 15 minutes, something like that. I'm not in a super big hurry. I'm not even, maybe even worried about in putting the oil back in the car tonight anyways. The M3, it might just sit outside. I'm not yet sure. Ideally, I'd like to get everything dropped back down and just move the car over. We shall see, but I can still hear it peeing, so we're gonna let it pee. If you put it on a little tight from the beginning, oil pressure will make it real tight. It's time to pull it back off. Yep. So you're gonna get some draining, it is what it is. But it'll stop pretty quickly as soon as you get part of the plug put in. And what I'll do is I'll snug it. I'll snug it at least. So that's it done. Now we just wanna put the oil filter back in. Okay, let's get dirty. Funnel. Yeah, you can turn the thing sideways and stuff. That will help, but I'd rather not make an enormous mess. I'd rather just put in the oil. Okay, so we've put in around four quarts thereabouts. An E30 with an M20 is going to take approximately four and a half quarts. Definitely a lot different than I'm used to now with the S54, but that's why I stopped around four quarts. We're going to let it sit. Uh, then we'll check the dipstick. We might have got a little bit more, but let's say four to four and a half quarts, somewhere around there uh, to kind of initially put in there. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. We'll come back. I'll check the dipstick. Once we're in a good spot, then we can start the engine, let it cycle for 30 seconds, turn it back off, and then we'll fine tune the oil and everything from there. Day two, right? So it was kind of getting late last night. So I stopped what I was doing, filled the car up. So I know there's enough oil in there, but I want to talk real quick, right? So the big thing about my channel is I drive cars really hard, but 
not only that, I teach you how to work on them, right? So if you own an E46, M3, E30, E30, M3, anything like that, frequent oil changes. As I mentioned in the last oil video with the rod bearings and the M3, every 3,000 miles. Same thing with this car. This car is probably every two to 3,000 miles for an oil change. Nothing longer than that. Let me show you how dark this oil is. All right, so that's a portion of the oil. This literally looks like molasses. It's jet, jet black. When I do normal oil changes, the oil changes on this car are not quite this dark. Actually, they're nowhere even this dark, especially when I do oil changes every 3,000 miles. If you were to look at this oil, you would say that this oil hasn't been changed in six, seven thousand miles, something like that. So first time using the Liqui Moly engine flush on the E30. It's also the first time using a Liqui Moly oil, a 2050. So I'm really curious to see how the Liqui Moly does because I do consume some oil, but I think that's because I heel toe like crazy, drive the piss out of this car. So I'm really curious to see how this oil does. I think the Liqui Moly engine flush definitely worked. Now, is there any science behind what I did? Absolutely not. But I think using styrofoam cups, styrofoam cups, putting the oil in there really allows us to see what's going on. I think like the pores of sorts in the styrofoam attract the garbage that's in the oil and it really allows you to see clean oil and oil that has two to 3,000 miles on it. So it's kind of surprising to see that much gunk in oil after two to 3,000 miles. We're gonna go for a ride on Saturday. Look for that video to post soon. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you like this video and you like riding videos, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you have any comments, drop those comments in the comment section. All right, guys, see ya.